Welcome back to Azart. My name is Nick and I have Kyle here with me and we're doing a season one recap of His Dark Materials. If you don't know, we cover a lot of His Dark Materials here. And by the way, go follow Kyle on Instagram, Peckles with the Zero. He's a super talented artist. Go check him out. He designs a lot of our cool shirts on azart.space where you can get all that stuff. But we love His Dark Materials here and we're here to recap season one. Oh yeah. So, we've got this 13-year-old girl named Lyra who lives in a parallel world where human souls exist outside their bodies in the form of spirit Pokemon. She's at the center of a super crazy prophecy who all the uptight church people believe is the second Eve, and is also a savant at understanding a golden speaking spell which answers any question. Mm -hmm. Lyra is an orphan, if by orphan you mean the product of an illicit affair between her uncle father or funkle, Lord Asriel, and the MVP sociopath Marissa Coulter, who are still very very much alive, then yes, she's an orphan. Asriel is an explorer who loves being cold, watching the northern lights, and being emotionally distant from his daughter. He also enjoys concluding, uh, conducting experiments with capital D dust, these horny magic particles from the creation of existence that are attracted to adults but grossed out by kids until they hit puberty. This makes Asriel public enemy number one with the totalitarian church people because they see these horny particles as responsible for original sin. Mrs. Colder works for the frumpy church government and, con and conducts her own controversial experiments where children are severed from their Pokemon like some fucked up Team Rocket. This makes them unattractive to the horny dust, but turns... <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Got a Pokemon stuck in my throat. <laughs> This makes them unattractive to the horny dust, but turns the survivors into vegetative lumps. If you think that sounds morally reprehensible, you're wrong, because, you know, it's for God and stuff. So, now that all the introductions are out of the way, everything is going great for Lyra, who lives like a street urchin, despite being the ward of a university who just wants to give her a great college education. Mm -hmm. Uncle Azzy comes to visit to give a PowerPoint presentation on the Northern Lights, and Lyra warns him the master of Jordan College spiked his bourbon with cocaine. Not a fan of having a good time, Asriel ditches the bourbon and thanks Lyra by stuffing her under a bench. As fast as you can say plot progression, Miss, Mrs. Coulter shows up, takes one look at Lyra, and says, you're living with me now. Lyra jumps at the opportunity because she's tired of constantly living around old nerds 24-7. Before she leaves, the master of Jordan College gives Lyra his priceless elf, Elith, Golden Compass as a farewell gift. To be known to him that she stopped Lord Asriel from getting totally blitzed with him on coke. Meanwhile, Roger is abducted by gobblers, kinda like the people you expect to be driving around a van with free candy spray painted on the side. Lyra wants to send out an Amber Alert, but the only people who will listen to her are a group of transient water gypsies. They hightail it up to the frozen north, where Lyra meets Eirik Bernison, a talking polar bear and functioning alcoholic, and a crazy cowboy who lives in a balloon named Lee Scoresby. Lyra gets herself abducted by the Gobblers and taken to Team Rocket Headquarters, where severing children from their Pokemon is, well, it's going pretty great. That is until a ragtag group of alt-rock witches, those transient water gypsies, a barely sober Ioric, Ioric Bernison, and the Texan version of the Wizard of Oz himself, Lee Scoresby, free Lyra and the imprisoned children. Lyra, now reunited with Roger, decide to take a side quest to help Ioric win a boxing match to become king of all tank bears again, then make their way to, to Asriel's super sick arctic shakatory. Asriel gives them a warm welcome by severing Roger and his Pokemon, which creates a surge of energy that creates a window into Narnia or some shit. He makes out with Mrs. Coulter one last time, leaving his daughter behind again, and jumps through the window to kill God. Then Lyra and Will both jump through their respective windows into Narnia. Oh yeah, there's also this main character, Will Perry. I forgot to talk about him because he's from our lame-ass world. The same world where Pokemon only exist in a series of Nintendo games, and Zeppelins are only used for sporting events as advertising space for tire companies. So, Will is, uh, is your quintessential social outcast with a slightly insane mom, and hey, look at that, a father who isn't present in his life. Lord Boreal, another agent for the autocratic Catholic government who lives a double wheeling and dealing life in our world suspects Will's dad's disappearance in the Arctic Circle wasn't so much a ploy in getting out of child support payments but more about him finding another window into Lyra's world. 
While Boreal seeks information about Will's dad, he discovers the existence of a mystical knife that can cut through anything, including the very fabric of space-time. Wanting to know more about this epic piece of endgame gear, Boreal sends his thugs to Will's house, only for one of them to get third-degree murdered by a 13-year-old. Rather than spending the better part of his teen years in juvie, Will goes on the run, leaving his mentally ill mother with one of his school teachers. Seriously, our educators are not getting paid enough for this crap. With the police hot on his tail, and in an act that seems like something out of a Pink Floyd song, Will follows a cute but salty-looking cat through a hole in the air. <laughs> End That's season amazing. one. Oh my gosh. Take a bow. Take a bow. <laughs> Take a bow. There right. you go. Right. That was a freaking amazing. Spot on. I don't think you missed anything. Anything. You covered the whole thing. That was amazing. Good job. It's hard. Fantastic. It's hard to 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 slice between. There's little tidbits. Yes. But then you also want to like. Well, you have to gloss yeah. over some of those. And if right? you want it, if you want the tidbits, please go back and rewatch season one. That's true. <laughs> yeah. If, yeah. By the way, guys, if all of this hyperbole is making zero sense, just go back and watch this. <laughs> you know. By the way, check out Kyle's recap of season one of House of the Dragons. Super fun. I'll link that down below here. Uh, definitely go follow him on Instagram because we're working on so much His Dark Material content. We're super stoked. We're talking about the Land of the Dead. We're talking about Harpies. We're talking about the Boatman. We're talking about Angels. We're talking about the Authority. We have deep dives. We're into this. We're excited for the final season. So subscribe to get all His Dark Materials content. We're definitely going to be covering it for the whole month of December and for the rest of no November, just when the show comes out. So subscribe and comment down below different topics you would like us to go into for deep dives and stuff like that. And other season recaps you might want to make Kyle do anyways, go to his Instagram and tell him which ones to go. Don't, don't bug him here. Go to his Instagram personally. <laughs> oh my <laughs> God. <laughs> Nick, what have you done? Becca's with a zero. <laughs> By the way, he's a super talented artist. And if you want to get cool shirts, we're making a, his dark material shirt. Go to asart.space. It's going to be off the hook. It's going to be something that's not even going to be in the series. It's more of a book Easter egg. That's all I'm going to say. It's on Kyle's Instagram. We'll see you on the next Azar. <laughs> Dude, that was freaking incredible. Nice. Okay, I'm Dude, glad, man. I'm glad. You threw me off at first. At first, I thought you were going to do the season thing. I'm like, oh, he's just going for the story. I love yeah, it. Yeah, so.